Just be glad for all you have that's in today. Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, Ventor Rayo, or Golden Wind if you prefer, episode 30. So yeah, we're really in the home stretch. We have nine more episodes after this to go, and yeah, I, I just have no idea how it's going to end. I mean, I, okay, I have theories, I have guesses, but I don't know anything for sure. Um... Now, first things first, uh, before we begin and everything, I am in my bedroom. I know it's hard to tell because there's no posters and stuff on the wall, but I assure you, I am in my bedroom. <laughs> um, and it's just, I I'm not getting to this until Saturday morning, so, yeah, that's why. <laughs> um, but I am excited to play more of this. I am excited to do, uh... Wow, I'm getting mixed up now. <laughs> I'm excited to watch more of this. I, I was thinking because I do have to record uh, Ori still. Um, I'm excited to watch more of this and continue to see where this leads us. Our big mystery right now is who is this person on the computer who had hacked into Bruno's computer and everything? Um, who is this? How did they know the boss? What are they um, not telling us? Etc. 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 How is the arrow going to play into this? I still think it's going to unlock another facet to someone's semblance in the same way that it did with uh, Killer Queen in um, Part Four. And speaking of that, that that episode was actually last week's episode on the Toonami dub as it was airing. Um. So yeah, Bites of the Dust finally arrived in that, too. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the only w thing I can really think of that they're going to do. The only thing I can think of that is going to involve the arrow. Because again, the arrow is prevalent in the opening. It's got to be important. I just don't know exactly what they're going to be able to do with it. I guess we'll see. <laughs> um... Other than that, they're heading out to a new location, but the boss is hot on their trail. And they are confronted um, by two new enemies. Uh, Chocolata, and I do not remember the other guy's name. Um, Chocolata is a uh, sick asshole, basically. Um, he has this fascination with death. And with seeing the the faces in all people make when they die. Um, and he's had it for a long time. He became a doctor for the sole purpose of seeing people die. And ever since, he's just been a complete psychopath about it. <laughs> he has this uh, former patient of his who's kind of working as the servant to him right now. And... Is wearing this like creepy looking outfit it looked like didn't really get a good look at him but yeah and chocolata's stand is green day which apparently if if its opponents make any kind of downward motion green day causes this like acid like substance to get on the victim so yeah that's fun this is going to be interesting. Um, but yeah, I have no idea where this is going, so we're just going to find out. When the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. Um, also to note, I do apologize for the echo in here. It's like the echo wasn't as noticeable, I guess, when the posters were up. I guess those were somehow muffling the echo. <laughs> um, but oh well. Um, I apologize if it's too noticeable. But either way, uh, that being said, let us uh, just get into it. So yeah, I'll see you at the reaction. Okay, and we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. 
Okay, so another very good episode of JoJo here. Um, we have the continuing fight against Green Day and, uh, well, Seko Stan, Chocolata and Seko. Um, I, I still don't know Seko's actual Stan name, though. I, I, I was going to look that up in between, but I hadn't yet. Uh, let's see if I can bring it up. Give me a second here. There we go. I got it up. Just got to wait for it to actually open here. Oasis. Okay. I mean, I guess Sanctuary and Oasis kind of fit together. Um, Oasis, good band, by the way. Um, so yeah, we have Chocolata's Green Day and Seco's Oasis. Um, Oasis, apparently, from what I can tell, has to be the, the suit that Seco is wearing. And it allows him to swim underground and track his opponents, uh, via movement. Um, meanwhile, Green Day, of course, as we know, spreads the mold. Um, with downward movement. Um, Oasis, however, not only allows him to swim underground, but he can pull stuff underground as well, which allows, which can force downward movement on his opponents. So their stands work exceedingly well together. Um, but yeah, so they're, they're fighting and we find out what happened with Bruno. We, we finally get the info on what the hell is wrong with him. Bruno is dead. In the, in the fight against the boss, Bruno technically died. Giorno was able to fill him with enough life energy to keep him going, but it, it's temporary. He's falling apart. His body is... It, it's His body is dead. He's basically a zombie. <laughs> um, and, and that sucks because that kind of tells us that Bruno is going to die. And, and that it's just inevitable. And JoJo has killed off characters before. It, 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 even main characters. So it's not like it's uh, out of the question for it to happen. I, I expected main characters from our group to die. Um, but it still sucks. Especially seeing it as inevitable like this. Um, but so Bruno is the perfect person to take on these two. Because the mold won't affect him and stuff. Plus, he's exceptionally smart and clever, so he's able to outsmart Seko as well. So we see them uh, getting the upper hand and trying to escape, but somehow Seko and uh, Chugawada have a helicopter. So they follow them and really start to spread the mold around, which just makes everything worse. Um, they're attacking people, and yeah, last time we did kind of see the boss sending Dopio. Uh, to make sure that Chocolata didn't go out of control, which, as we can see, is starting to happen. They're, they're entering Rome, and they're trying to make sure that uh, the mold doesn't spread to the Colosseum, so they need to take them out quickly. Um, now, this was a part one, so there probably is going to be a part two. Well, there has to be a part two. Um, I don't know if there will be a part three, though. Probably not. I think they'll finish it off next episode. I don't know if Dopio will arrive in time or not, but they'll definitely finish it off. Um, now, as for getting to the Coliseum and meeting with this guy, uh, the guy who hacked into the computer, I don't know if that's going to be next episode or the episode after, though. I don't know. Um, but this is really getting fascinating. I think that there's not going to be much more... Uh, big enemies to face besides, you know, Dopio and the boss and all. Um, I think like Chocolata and Seko are kind of the last stand, pun intended, uh, before we get to the boss stuff. Uh, there, there might be a couple, maybe one or two like very minor enemies, uh, who are just taken care of like no time flat, but I think Chocolata and Seko Considering how perfect their stands work together, considering how insane they are, I, I think that they're going to kind of be this the last stand. 
Um, but I don't know for sure. Who knows where it's going to go? Um, but yeah, remember, keep the comments spoiler free, but tell me what you thought of this episode. Uh, and thank you so much for tuning in. For now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See y'all next time. And though you've come through many obstacles,